New at 530, we're getting an inside look at a new exhibit here in the Queen City. It's called the Levine Museum of the New South. As NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lo Roller explains, they are working to appeal to younger generations through the use of technology. Chances are when you go to a museum, they ask you to put this away, right? But that's not the case here at Levine Museum of the New South, where they're implementing a new technology for the very first time, encouraging you to use your phone all while learning. We're trying to attract a younger generation. And they're doing so by using the same technology as Pokemon Go with an all new augmented reality exhibit called hashtag home CLT. I think those are the most important um, members of the city. They're, you know, these are the people who are going to grow up and become leaders. They're going to get into positions of power and they need to um, understand. So this is a way to draw them into the museum and keep them um, engaged. This UNCC AR app allows visitors to use a provided tablet or their own phone to see how the city has changed over time. We worked with a UNCC professor to develop this app. If you take your finger and scroll it across the screen, you'll see how that's changed. All of a sudden, this flat map comes to life, showing the demographic, income, and population shifts for the past 10 years in Sedgefield, Dilworth, Hidden Valley, Enderly Park, and Eastland. Also sharing the stories that give these neighborhoods meaning. And this is Karen Jones. Karen Jones has um, was one of the first African-American residents to move into Hidden Valley. And this is Theodore Williams. The exhibit is now open to the public, but it's only the beginning. The creators tell me they're hoping to include hundreds of Charlotte neighborhoods when it's finished. Using history to build communities so that um, new residents and residents here learn about Charlotte in meaningful ways. Reporting in Uptown, I'm Rachel Roller for NBC Charlotte.